Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike, the engineer, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, it's been a minute. It's been a couple of months. I've been busy. So, tonight we are going to be playing around with some SSTOs. First, we have the stock SSTO, the 1.25 meter. I don't remember what it's called. But we're just going to test that out and see if we can get into orbit. Remember, this is not stock Kerbal Space Program. This is the Je Ne Sais Quoi mod, a two and a half times rescale mod. So everything is two and a half times bigger. Delta V is the square root of 2.5. So orbit is about 3,800 meters per second. So it is a lot more effort to get into orbit, but we are gonna see if we can do it today. So this is attempt number one with the stock SSTO from the stock game. I believe you use it in one of the training missions or scenarios or something. I don't really remember. I think it's the station docking one, uh, advanced one. But anyways, yes, it has been a few months and I have been busy. You see, when I was doing this before, I was working at the red store. The red retail store is either the blue store or the red store. I work for the red store. Whatever. Retail jobs. Those are physically exhausting, but I still had the ability to come here after work, record some videos, hang out, have a good time. But now I have an office job. That's 8 30 to 5 o'clock. Like, I, it, it, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world, I'll be honest, okay? But, you come back from an office job, you are exhausted. You are mentally drained. Like, I could come back, I could run a mile on it, that's fine. But I try, I try to do anything using my head, I just can't. I literally cannot, so, taking a little bit of time over winter break, over the couple days I have to record some videos and try and get back into it. And I'm gonna try to do it on the weekends, but absolutely no freaking guarantees. So, yeah, the whole storm thing, I was fully expecting to be remote yesterday. Today is Saturday the 24th, Saturday night, Christmas Eve. So we're having a good time. Okay, so, what am I doing? Whatever. You, you can see what's going on. I'm modifying. We're trying out the two and a half meter crew cabin because it has a slightly higher um, temperature resistance. And we're gonna roll with that. We're gonna see if it works. If it doesn't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll make something work. Can guarantee it's gonna be a single stage door, but you know what might work? A two stage door, kind of like strata launch or something, but we'll get to that if we have to. Let's just see what happens here. But anyways, yeah, office life, exhausting. I'm not gonna talk much more about that job because I kind of like it and it's very small. I don't wanna talk too much about it just in case I'm watching, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. We are past the darkest day of the year. I am very happy about that. It's gonna get lighter, it's gonna get warmer. Well, all that shit with the temperature like this, we're gonna get cooler before it gets warmer, but it's gonna get warmer at some point. And that makes me very happy, because the past few days we have been so good, you know, we're out here in Buffalo, we've been dumped, uh, we had snow dumped on us, we had very cold winds, it was like, it feels like negative 5 degrees, I know people have had it colder than for us, that's pretty hot because while we get a lot of snow, we don't really get a ton of chill. Um, it's very rare to see something below what is here to this year. But here we are, we are on our third SSDO attempt. Um, we are following like a standard KSP like trajectory. Uh, get up to 400, wait till flame out, activate our engine, see how high we can get. So, orbit in stock Kerbal Space Program is 70 kilometers. Here it is 85 kilometers. Stock it is 2,000 meters per second. Here it's almost 4,000 meters per second. So yes, it is quite a bit more difficult to get it into 
orbit. And this SSD in stop game so pretty easily. Here it's much more difficult. We could not do it. So uh, I've added more fuel, I've added more wings. Well, I've had to shift the wings back there. Um, I don't remember what the thing was. I think we ran out of fuel. So here we are. We are making a two and a half meter SSD because I just kind of think a 1.25 meter isn't gonna work. Um, so yeah, we are adding more fuel, we are adding more engines, and we are taking off on our runway. We have liftoff, we have actually a little bit of um, yaw there, I don't know what's up with that, but here we are, we're getting up there, we're at 400 meters per second, pushing gear 500, transonic most certainly. And we have engine ignition, yes. We are heading up into the stratosphere. Hopefully we have enough Delta V to do this. I'm not sure yet. We are getting quite toasty. Um, yeah, before, I don't know if you saw, I had the radiators. I was trying to stop the 1.25 meter plane cockpit from exploding, but that just wasn't happening. All right, so it looks like we're about 500 meters per second short. I'm gonna add some more fuel, see what we can do. Uh, we had an engine failure that is from Kerbalism. We are not in our um, save from before. Um, we're just kind of messing around here in uh, sandbox mode, seeing if this is possible. We will resume that next time, maybe. Or we might get into some cities at Skylines, because I am having a lot of fun with that game, actually. Um, yeah, just ignore that. The, the bee stuff in the background, uh, that, that was just a video I was watching, I believe it was... Uh, game theory. All right, so yeah, that wasn't working. So now I am trying to do a strato launch type system. So we are building our carrier. We are adding some wings. So basically, this is going to have a bunch of engines. It's going to have a bunch of fuel. It's going to carry us up to uh, the edge of outer space. I know it's not quite a standard strato launch, but like, you know what? It looks cool. Um, this is a prototype. I don't plan on landing this, so maybe we can come back another day and like fix it up for like career mode or science mode or whatever. We do have the I forgot what it's called the um stage recovery. No stage whatever. Oh FMRS allows you to split up your missions, fly back boosters and planes and whatever. We'll mess with that later. But here we go, we are taking off, we start up with the engine pods on the strato launcher, then we started the main engines on the rocket. We kind of exploded because our center of mass was not correct. So just adjusting that, here we are, back on the runway, starting those outer engines, firing up the inner engines, pitching up, taking off, breaking the sound barrier, getting up there, ditch that, got rid of that, we don't need that anymore, fire up our engines, and I have a very good feeling about this. So here we are. We are almost in orbit. Yes. Oh, and that did it. We are in orbit. 3,800 meters per second, like I said. Okay, now that that's done, let's see if we can land this boy. So here we are. We are performing our landing burn. Well, not landing burn. Our re-entry burn. Yes, that's the name of it. And we are gonna be coming in. Uh, I haven't done anything to adjust the center of masses or anything, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be stable or not or whatever, but you know what? We're just gonna roll with it and see how she flies. Because this might be fun to use in a uh, career or in science mode or whatever. But here we are, we're coming in. We're a little bit warm that's absolutely fine we're not exploding it so we're just using the whole area of our body of our spaceship to slow down burn off a lot of tea and make sure we don't explode because that is not good um i think what's exploding here are the little rcs modules which in my opinion is fine um, if you want, I can try to land it again without 
um, anything exploding, but like little arsenic things. But as long as the structure is fine, I don't really mind. Right now, it's prototyping. That's the sandbox. I don't really care that much. We're just seeing if it's possible at all. That can be adjusted with some, you know, like reentry tweaking or whatever, like angle tweaking. So, but we survived reentry. We're coming in for our landing. Yes. And as long as I stick this landing, I will consider it a success. Yes. And here we are coming in for our landing in a few seconds. Yep, 100 meters per second coming in nice and slow. Almost there. Almost to the ground. There you go. Landed. Mission successful. We can't quite do an SSTO, but we can do a two-stage torp, a TSTO. And if you guys are wondering where that strato launcher went, well, we're gonna find out in a second. I'm hopping right back to it, and I'll show you. It got torn apart by air forces. That's fine, I wasn't planning on landing it. It was a prototype anyway. But anyways, guys, that's all from me today. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. You guys stay warm, stay healthy, have a fantastic new year. And fantastic food and holidays and everything. And I will catch you next time. Thank you very much, and goodbye.